Japanese afternoon. First, the highlights. Governor Solu pledges decisive response to reckless behaviour as Nema sympathises with Lagos State Government of a Dosemo market fire. Nigeria becomes first country to launch new meningitis vaccine. And for Arlington, Ethiopia resumes repatriation of over 70,000 nationals from Saudi Arabia. And in sports, Nigerian defender Sonny Faisal set to join South Africa club Chipa United. And now the details, I am Mike James. The Lagos State Governor, Baba Judith Onwulu, has received the leadership of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, led by its newly appointed Director General, Zubaida Umar. The NEMA National Leadership Team was in Lagos to sympathize with the state government on the fire disaster that raised no fewer than 14 multi-story buildings and destroyed assets worth millions in Dosemo Market on Lagos Island on Tuesday. Governor Swalu, who received the NEMA team at the State House in Marina, conveyed his appreciation to the agency's boards for prompt deployment of first responders to join the state emergency response team in combating the inferno minutes after the alert was sent out. The governor, who noted that 120 tanks of water were used up before the inferno was brought under control, commended the first responders from both the state and federal levels for their round-the-clock action to salvage the situation and stop the spread of the fire. Samuel Luda cried the incident, expressing his disappointment and the reckless handling of flammable materials in the market. Governor Samuel said the state government had commenced enumeration of the raised area to ascertain the loss of the traders with the aim to support them back on their feet. This data, he said, would be shared with NEMA to help the agency properly channel its support for the affected traders. NEMA's Director General Zubaida Umar said the visit was to show solidarity with the state government and to show support to the first responders who had remained in the scene since the incident started. Lagos State Head of Service Olabade Aguru has paid a working visit to the Lagos Water Corporation at the Water House, Ijora, Lagos. Admonishing the man management staff to cooperate with the government on the ongoing restructuring process at the corporation. He said the restructuring will enable the government to move the sector forward and improve water supply to residents across the state. Agora appealed to all staff of the corporation to see the exercise as a means of making sacrifices for the state. On his part, the managing director of Lagos Water Corporation, Mukhtar Tijani, reiterated that the restructuring process has been completed and he will soon inform the workforce on the outcome. He noted that it is likely to affect some of the staff, but assured that government will make adequate provisions for the entitlement of those that will be affected in the restructuring. President Balat Tinubu has called for unity and purpose and more collaboration between the federal government, state governors, and the members of the National Assembly to achieve national development goals. The president made the appeal while receiving state governors and the leadership of the National Assembly in Lagos. Speaking on behalf of the president, Vice President Shatima expressed optimism about Nigeria's economic resurgence and called for collective effort to propel the nation forward. On his part, Senate President Godswin Akwabio commended the state governors for emulating President Tinubu's leadership style. Characterized by listening to diverse voices and consulting widely with the people, irrespective of political affiliations. In his remarks, Chairman Nigeria Governors Forum, Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak of Kwara State, commended the President's effort in stabilizing the economy and improving living conditions, highlighting the positive development in the country, which include the stabilization of the exchange rate and decrease in food prices. And now to the rest of the stories.
Nigeria has launched a revolutionary vaccine against meningitis, which the World Health Organization, WHO, said is the first in the world. WHO Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus said meningitis is an old and deadly flu, but this new vaccine holds the potential to change change the trajectory of the disease, preventing future outbreaks and saving many lives. He noted that Nigeria's rollout brings the world one step closer to its goal to eliminate meningitis by 2030. The main 5CV vaccine shields against the five major strains of the meningococcal bacteria in a single shot. The Senate is currently investigating 774 federal government agencies over alleged financial improprieties and queries raised against them in a 2019 report of the Auditor General of the Federation. Chairman Senate's Public Accounts Committee, Ali Wadada, stated this in Kefi Nasarawa State while responding to questions from journalists. Wadada said, while the panel is determined to discharge its responsibilities diligently in the best interest of the country, it is not out to victimize anyone. It said the 10th and National Assembly, with the support of President Bolat Tinubu and critical stakeholders in the nation's economy, will soon embark on the amendment of the 2007 Procurement Act to block loopholes of financial infractions before they take place. The lawmaker also appealed to heads of government agencies and federal, state and local government levels to embrace the spirit of self-discipline and fear of God in the discharge of their responsibilities. And in some foreign news, authorities in Ethiopia have started returning migrants stranded in the oil-rich kingdom of Saudi Arabia by flying 842 of them on Friday. The goal of this program's third phase is to return 70,000 people in four months by operating 12 flights per week. The government says they were in difficult conditions as most are undocumented and have been languishing in prisons and detention centers in the country. Meanwhile, the risk of them returning to Saudi is also high as thousands travel each year seeking better living conditions. The kingdom hosts about 750,000 Ethiopian migrants, more than half of whom are believed to have entered the territory illegally. And now sports news, Nigerian defender Sonny Faisal is one of the verge, is on the verge of joining South Africa Premier Soccer League Club, Chippa United, and a permanent transfer from Kano Pillars. Faisal will become teammates with Super Eagles first choice goalkeeper Stanley Wabali. According to reports, the left back will join Chippa United in the summer. Aside Wabali, other Nigerians who have featured for Chippa United are Daniel Akbe, James Okusa, and Augustine Quem. And that was our news at 12. But just before we go, please do not drive beyond specified speed limits. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. Visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng Did you know that the Sawulu administration renovated five libraries, Ekbe, Badagri, Etiosa, Amur, Dofi and Ikorudu? Well, you can get more details on the Legacy Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos Segava Baba Jidi Sawulu has received the leadership of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, led by its newly appointed Director General, Zubaida Umar. And Nigeria has launched a revolutionary vaccine against meningitis, which the World Health Organization, WHO, said is the first in the world. And we also told you that authorities in Ethiopia have started returning migrants stranded in the oil-rich kingdom of Saudi Arabia by flying 842 of them on Friday. And then in sports, Nigerian defender Sonny Faisal is on the verge of joining South African Premier Soccer League club, Chippa United, and a permanent transfer from Kano Pillars. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. 
The Nines and E's broadcast it was compiled by Adewale Oluk, Morocco. Thank you for listening, Lagos. My name is Mike James. Stick around for Sports Strip, kicking off at 12.15.